Hi guys, I'm back and I'm sitting here with our Baker Butler Bear who's reading a story and I'm going to read you guys a funny bear story um, called Tops and Bottoms, the one we talked about yesterday. Adapted and illustrated by Janet Stevens. Inside the front cover we see all these vegetables we talked about. We've got beets and radishes, celery, corn, lettuce, broccoli, carrots. I think that's the main stuff there. Tops and bottoms. This is a tricky story, so you have to pay close attention. Once upon a time, there lived a very lazy bear who had lots of money and lots of land. His father had been a hard worker and a smart business bear, and he had given all of his wealth to his son, but all Bear wanted to do was sleep. Not far down the road lived a hare. Although Hare was clever, he sometimes got into trouble. He had once owned land too, but now he had nothing. He had lost a risky bet with a tortoise and had sold all of his land to Bear to pay off the debt. Hare and his family were in very bad shape. The children are so hungry, Father Hare. We must think of something, Mrs. Hare cried one day. So Hare and Mrs. Hare put their heads together and cooked up a plan. Here's their family. The next day, Hare hopped down the road to Bear's house. Bear, of course, was asleep. Hello, Bear, wake up, it's your neighbor, Hare, and I have an idea. Bear opened one eye and grunted. Rawr. We can be business partners, Hare said. All we need is this field right here in front of your house. I'll do the hard work of planting and harvesting, and we can split the profit right down the middle. Yes, sir, Bear, we're in this together. I'll work and you sleep. Huh? said Bear. So what will it be, Bear? asked Hare. The top half or the bottom half? It's up to you. Tops or bottoms? Um, let's see, Bear said with a yawn. I'll take the top half, Hare. Right, tops. Hare smiled. It's a done deal, Bear. Now I can tell you that Hare, or Rabbit, is up to something. What do you think he might be up to? He's letting Bear take the tops, so we'll see. So Bear went back to sleep and Hare and his family went to work. Hare planted, Mrs. Hare watered, and everyone weeded. So here's the family working together, and here is Bear, doing what Bear does best. Bear slept as the crops grew. When it was time for the harvest, Hare called out, Wake up, Bear! You get the tops, I get the bottoms. Hare and his family dug up the carrots, the radishes, and the beets. Hare plucked off all, plucked off all the tops, tossed them into a pile for Bear, and put the bottoms aside for himself. So you can see up here, this whole mess of greens, these are the tops of those plants that Bear said he wanted. And down here, Hare and his family get the bottoms, which is where the main vegetables are in this case. Is that true for every vegetable? Hmm. Bear stared at his pile. But Hare, all the best parts are in your half. You chose the tops, Bear, Hare said. Now, Hare, you've tricked me. You plant this field again, and this season I want the bottoms. Hare agreed. It's a done deal, Bear. So this time, Bear is going to take the bottoms because he thinks that's where he'll get the best parts. Do you think Hare is going to plant the same things again? So Bear went back to sleep, and Hare and his family went to work. They planted, watered, and weeded. What's Bear doing? Asleep. He's just sleeping. 
Bear slept as the crops grew. When it was time for the harvest, Hare called out, Wake up, Bear, you get the bottoms and I get the tops. Hare and his family gathered up the lettuce, the broccoli, and the celery. Hare pulled off the bottoms for Bear and put the tops in his own pile. What are the bottoms in this case? Looks like mainly roots. Some roots are really good to eat. Bear looked at his pile and scowled. Hare, you have cheated me again. But Bear, Hare said, you wanted the bottoms this time. Bear growled. You plant this field again, Hare. You've tricked me twice and you owe me one season of both tops and bottoms. You're right, poor old bear, sighed Hare. It's only fair that you get both tops and bottoms this time. It's a done deal, bear. Is he going to trick him again? So far we've had some vegetables where the tops are really good to eat, or the, the considered the best parts. And then we've had some vegetables where the bottoms are considered the best parts. So Bear went back to sleep and Hare and his family went to work. They planted, watered, and weeded, then watered and weeded some more. Bear slept as the crops grew. When it was time for the harvest, Hare called out, Wake up, Bear! This time you get the tops and the bottoms. You think Hare is just being nice this time to give him both? Or does he have something else up his sleeve? There in front of Bear's house lay a high field of corn. Hare and his family yanked up every corn stalk. Hare tugged off the roots at the bottom and the tassels at the top and put them in a pile for Bear. Then he carefully collected the ears of corn in the middle and placed them in his own pile. Bear rubbed his eyes and watched. See, Bear, you get the tops and the bottoms. I get the middles. Yes, sir, Bear, it's a done deal. Look at Bear's face here. How do you think he's feeling? I think he might be pretty perturbed. By now, Bear was wide awake. That's it, Hare, he hollered. From now on, I'll plant my own crops and take the tops, bottoms, and middles. Hare and his family scooped up the corn and hopped down the road toward home. I guess they knew better than to stick around a mad bear. Bear never again slept through a season of planting and harvesting. Hare bought back his land with the profit from the crops, and he and Mrs. Hare opened a vegetable stand. And although Hare and Bear learned to live happily as neighbors, they never became business partners again. Sounds like Bear learned a lesson. What a fun story. I want you to think about something in this story that you could compare. Now I know that's kind of a tricky concept for you guys, so I'm going to give you some help. You could talk about the animals in the story, the hares and the bear. You could talk about the different parts of the vegetables and which parts are good to eat, which parts maybe aren't so good. You could talk about the difference between being friends and being business partners. So I'm going to let you decide what you would like to write about. But you're going to think about two things. Maybe they aren't opposites, but they're different somehow. And maybe they're also the same somehow. When you think about uh, the hare and the bear, they're both animals. But they are, have very different personalities. You think about all the vegetables. They're all vegetables. 
but there were different parts that they ate. And you think about being friends or being business partners, it's possible you could do both. But in this case, that didn't work out so well, did it? Alrighty. Love you guys. Bye.